Hello everyone. Are you ready for another latch bar demonstration workout? Well, I hope so because we're getting ready to get started. Here we have the nine piece component system. This is called the LW500 latch bar exercise system. This system is a resistance band and strap attachment system. It is not a standalone exercise system. You must use resistance bands or either straps. You can also use chains just as well. So what we have here, these are called elevators. Quite simple, you take one of your round bars, it sits right on top, then you can do push-ups. You have here, a set, flat latch bar, single, single round hand grip. Flat basic latch bar, round basic latch bar. Deluxe flat latch bar, deluxe round latch bar. Then you have the sit on sit on, lay on, latch bar, and you have a 44 inch squat, curl, press, latch bar. The round bars have a plastic sleeve over the top. I'm sure you can see it. As I take a look at the video, I can see it. As you receive product, it will come with a, ple a clear sleeve on the product. The existing, the, the products that you see here, I'm sorry that a black, these were samples that I received, but I had to purchase them, so they weren't free. But anyway, um, the flat latch bar comes with an anti-slip strip. If you order it to be wall mounted, it will come without that, and it will have pre-drilled holes. You may have to expand the hole but it will be in the area where it should be mounted. My website is www.lw500products.net. If you'd like to see multiple videos, videos of my demonstrations and workouts, please log on to YouTube and subscribe and you will see exclusively my videos. You won't see all of that other stuff that you see, but you must place my product name into the search field in order to find me doing my demonstrations. Okay, so we're about ready to get started. And I will first of all have to move the equipment components out of the way. and then we are ready to go. So on my website, you are able to purchase individual components. You do not have to purchase entire packages, but there are packages that are available as starter kits, which do come with resistance bands. They're, they also, depending on what you're ordering, also, the basic latch bar, or any bar that you might want, because you can order it separately, will also come with set, one set of straps. The set of straps also come with a set of hand grips. So, we're going to get started doing our old faithful, some sit-ups. We have our basic latch bar here. This latch bar has two sets of straps. One set set of straps is adjusted for sit-ups and the, the other set is adjusted for crunches. You have an adjustment and it will adjust to anyone's height. Tall, short, medium, what have you. The last bar, as soon as you apply pressure, it will go from being flat to vertical, still in the horizontal, horizontal position and as long as you maintain pressure against your feet it will stay in the same place 
So what you have is it'll enable or help you. It won't enable, it'll help you do your sit-up, and especially if you're not able to do sit-ups. But even if you are, it'll help strengthen your abs and strengthen your arms at the same time because you're actually using your arms to help pull yourself into position along with your abs. So don't leave your abs out because your arms will get awful tired. That was a breeze. Yes, that was that easy, it was a breeze. Now we're going to our crunches. That's right, you hear me huffing and puffing because we're just getting started. And you know, this takes effort to do. And that's what you want. You want it to take effort to do what you're doing because if it took no effort, that's what you would gain, nothing. So this is the lay on, sit on, latch bar. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna lay on it, and we're gonna do a press with it. That's right. Before we move on to our next exercise, this will, this will be it. So what we've done, of course I've explained, we have looped the resistance band through the latches on the deluxe latch bar so that we can do a press. These bands are 45 inches long, so they give you an opportunity to do things that you didn't think you could do. Using this latch bar, you can turn your existing resistance bands into power resistance bands, because now you would need to use your power to actually do a press with this resistance band. Of course, you can make it much easier. It, your, your, your tension depends on how you set it up. So if you use a resistance band that has less tension, then of course it will be easier. That's logic, I'm, I'm sure you understand. So the, 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 the more resisted the resistance band that you use, the more tension it has, the more difficult it's going to be once you start looping it to our latch bar. If you are familiar with resistance bands, you know that you're supposed to use them to keep the, keep the, the tension on the resistance band so that you do not let it completely collapse. 
you make sure that it maintains resistance so that you can get the most out of your band and then you'll do your rep as I just did. So I made sure that I didn't collapse the band so I didn't lose the resistance. That's the correct method of using a resistance band. I've seen several people that come to demonstrate or to learn how to use my equipment. They try and use the resistance band or lift the resistance band as if they are lifting weight. You're not lifting weight, you're lifting resistance. It's a totally different workout. So you have to do it a different way. Anyone that doesn't like working out resist with resistance bands usually is because they're not using them correctly. From just doing that press, I did it 30 times. The back of my arms are still burning <laughs> from doing that. I'm just saying, you're most likely doing it improperly if you don't like it. So here we have another set of straps. These straps are, are connected to um, our deluxe latch bar. Of course, you can see it's, it has been painted a different color. You can paint yours whatever color you like also. I wanted to paint mine with my color scheme, you could use your color scheme. So, with the straps, there's a couple of different methods that you can do a crunch. You can have your feet on the floor, or you can have your feet up on the wall board, on the wall, which is resting, resting the heel of your foot right on the latch bar, okay? We're gonna bring our feet back down first, and we're going to do something like this because this is the extreme method, okay? Using the latch bar with straps. I almost pulled myself off the mat. I want to stay on the mat while I'm doing this. I don't necessarily need my head on there, but it's there. Then we're going to put our feet on the wall. Then we're going to do another set. Okay, you can see that was much easier, but it was still hard too. So, don't kid yourself. But these are the things that we need to do in order to try and get our abs to look good once again, or to at least Try and get your abs under control, your stomach under control because most of us, 
Our stomach is out of control. Including, including mine. But I'm gonna get it under control and you can get yours under control too. That's right. By working out just like this. Working out along with me as a matter of fact. Even if you don't have my equipment, let me be inspirational until you get my equipment. <laughs> setup that we had demonstrated. We have a deluxe latch bar that is round and we have a deluxe flat latch bar mounted on the wall. And we have one inch flat resistance bands and they are connected with a large carabiner. And you're ready to go. That's right. So that has been converted into a power band because now we've doubled it and it, instead of being two strands, it is four strands. So if the rating was 50, then now the rating would be 100 because you doubled it. So that's how that works. All bands are stackable. So if you want to add more resistance, just add another band. That's called stacking resistance bands. So you can add, subtract, and especially with the latch bar system, because you have extra latches that you can utilize at any point. Each latch, the rating for each latch is 300 pounds. So if you have five latches onto your flat latch board or your round bar, if you have five latches, 300 pounds each, my goodness, that would hold an awful lot of weight, don't you think? Or resistance, my apologies. But the rating for weight resistance is what we're talking about. So it's not like you got to carry around a whole rack of dumbbells or barbells. You have a rack here of, of components which are preset up for resistance. All you have to do is just take them off, do your workout with them, hang them back up, and you're, you're moving on to the next one. 
That's right. That's how simple you can make it. Of course, you have to have uh, floor mats. You have to have floor mats anyway because if you drop a barbell on the floor, it makes an awful lot of noise. So you need padding. So you need padding for working out on the floor, for doing floor exercise, and just to protect the floor and your feet. basic latch bar. Basic latch bar that we did sit up with. It's the same thing. We use, we're using the hand grip here. I'm just making sure I point out the different components as they're being used so that you are familiar with what I'm doing and what is being used. Our old faithful, our flat latch bar, that's what's hanging on the walls, and the deluxe round latch bar. Okay? So now, we can do pulls with this by pulling up on it, all right? We can do a semi-squat, a semi-squat, making sure your feet are in the right position. And as you hold it up like this, squat. That's right. And make sure you hold, keep, keep it up, holding it up. And if you want to lift it higher as you squat, do so. It's going to make, you will have to apply more strength holding it up. Just keep that in mind. But the benefit that you get from the exercise from doing that is phenomenal. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the benefits. Because now, once again, your standard, your basic resistance bands, we turn this whole system into a power, a power, power workout system. That's what we turned it into. If you think that you have too much resistance, you always have the opportunity to change them. Make it into a extreme resistance band. We have extreme resistance bands on the outside and we have a medium resistance band on the inside because we want to make it so that we can at least do this. That's right. Resistance band, you can make it so difficult that the average individual would not be able to even do this. But of course, some of you muscle guys, you could absolutely do it and benefit from it if you do it correctly. That's right. You have to know how to do it. So you don't need all of that super barbell, 250 pound, 300, whatever it is that you're using, which is eventually going to really impact your body, especially as you get older, like me, you need to make a change at that point, okay? Maybe even before you get to my age, but you won't be working out, out with 300, 200, pounds as you get to the age of 70. Trust me. You'll change your work habit. These are much easier to pick, to move around, and you'll get just as much out of it. I'm just trying to educate you. that you can use 
even with the smaller setup, it will do the same thing. So those pulls that I was doing over there with the larger deluxe upper and lower, you can do it with the basic upper and lower as long as you have the resistance bands that you need. Now, like I said, my system comes either with or without resistance bands. So if you have existing bands, most likely you can use them. Or you can buy extra resistance bands from me. Also, I do individually sell resistance bands. So I do not sell the flat resistance bands. I do offer the tubular type resistance bands and they are pro source. Oh. oh my goodness. You feel that all up and down your back, your whole body. You know? So you don't need, my point is, you don't need a big elaborate system to do the little simple things that's necessary to keep your body in shape. In my starter kits, you're able to get, depending on the one that you buy, adequate enough components to get you started and give yourself the best workout you ever had in your life. That's right. That's how confident I am about this system. Now, I've worked out with a lot of different things. Of course, I wasn't this age as I did, but I know what's good for me and what's not good for me. And you can ask any doctor, any uh, person that has actually worked out for many years, ask them about resistance bands and see what they tell you. It's something you wish you had taken to advantage of a long time ago because these things have been around for a long time. What I found out, what I found out about resistance bands after I had hip replacement surgery is that they didn't have an attachment apparatus and they only had resistance bands. So, until I came up with this idea, I used resistance bands by screwing eyelets into the wall and using the carabiner to connect it to the wall and do all sorts of exercise that I do currently with the latch bar system. That's how I came up with the idea. It was totally stationary, mounted around two of my closets. That's right. And I attached resistance bands and I did my workouts like that while I was attempting to rehabilitate myself from my initial surgery that I had back in 2011. My second surgery I didn't have until 2015. But between 2011 and 2015, I came up with this idea. Yep, I came up with this idea. And I submitted it to the invention home. I submitted drawings and pictures 
to the invention home and I got a provisionary patent with them after they did a product search and found that there was nothing like it. Of course, everything costs money, but they did a product review to see if anything existed like mine at the time, and they found that nothing existed. Once they found that nothing existed, I moved forward. I moved forward. and continued my journey, or just started my journey, actually. I made prototypes. And we did all of that for one year until their provisionary conditioning, or the conditionary patent, that's what it was, conditionary. The conditions meant that whatever I was to do, they would be profiting also if I did it before one year expired. After one year, I pursued getting my patent instead of a conditional patent, which they were part of. So at that point, I was able to get a patent, but it took until I first got the patent in 2000. 18. So it took from 2014 to 2018. But in the meantime, 2015, I had the second hip surgery where I used my prototype system to rehabilitate myself. And since I had submitted for a patent. That meant that no one else could duplicate this product from that point on. So you've seen a lot of variations come out that were similar to this because a lot of people have seen this product since 2014, but it was not patented to me or to anyone else until 2018 and then in 2020 was when I received my brand name. So in 2020, in November, or yes, late October, November, was when I started marketing this product. So the last bar was born and is available on my website, www.lw500products.net. You can also obviously see the product on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, Twitter, and Instagram. Yes. Product is also available on Facebook Markets, Instagram, uh, Walmart. There you go. like working out, you would love this. Yeah, we're moving the mat back because we want to do uh, what we call resistive jogging. 
get that cardio effect even more so. Even more so than what we have now. We take the bands and we put it around us, put it around me so that I can get some tension. We're going to do it for a couple minutes. We'll take a look at the clock. We'll extend ourselves from the wall, lean forward, and start to jog. Jog as fast as you want. Just make sure that you're being careful because you have tension and it's pulling you backwards. So you want to make sure you're not pulled backwards and fall on the floor. Coming up on one minute. So we have another full minute to do. I'm almost out of your picture. I just happened to take a look up. Sorry about that. I was going crazy with the tension. Feel that burn in your legs. It's not like normal jogging. It's very different with these resistance bands on you. And when you get ready to stop, you have to make sure you kind of jog backwards to lessen the tension. So we're coming up on two minutes. And here we are. Hmm. Time to take a taste of water drink. Taste of water break, sorry. My calves here, my legs, and even my hip joints are all burning. So those are the areas where we just impacted. So if you really wanna go into some extreme Extreme, extreme. We have here a single latch bar and we have a hand grip. The same exercise that we do with the basic latch bar that's attached to the 2x10, you can do with the single with this extreme resistance band, pulling up on it and torquing your body to one side. And that is like a crunch. But you wanna make sure that you've extended the resistance band so that you do get a lot of resistance. And you'll feel it also in your arm. And you can also keeping in place there, of course, you can do pulls. You can do pulls across your body. You have to make sure that you're holding it tight enough. 
with your other foot. That is good, a good workout. You can also use two hands with this if necessary, if you want to. Because once again, this is a very fat resistance band and it takes a lot to move it. So you want to do the same thing with your left side, pull it up and torque your body to one side. And you also want to do the pull across your body. Pull it and hold it there. You'd be surprised how much energy and calories you're burning even if you just pull it and hold it there. That's right. Now this is the same, you'll get the same effect from this that we just got from that single latch bar. This is a basic and it has two bands attached, such as that was one band but it was four strands, the two bands give you four strands also. I must say, with placing your full, your full foot on there, it is much more comfortable. But if you want to do it, you can do it also with a single. That's what I want to show you. It's okay with me, whichever one you purchase, as long as you purchase it and you're doing the exercise the correct way. That's what's important. And I want to show you all the opportunities that I'm familiar with because there's probably a whole lot more that I'm not showing you because there isn't enough time. And you won't be able to see them all unless you log on to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Then you will be able to see all of the different workouts that I've demonstrated using the latch bar equipment. Now here is the single, and this is a hand grip that a lot of you may have already. All you need is the latch bar. And you can take your existing resistance band and turn it into an extreme resistance band. It already has the capabilities and characteristics. You just need the tool. The tool is the latch bar. Now, of course, if this was a much smaller resistance band, you would also be able to curl it. But Superman couldn't even curl this one. I don't know. 
like I always I go back to you guys with those python type biceps, you might be able to do it. And probably can. I shouldn't say might. <laughs> And I'm not jealous. Trust me. Certain things, if you're not born with it, it's almost impossible to get. That's right. So you got to be thankful for what you got. You know, remember that song, Diamond in the Back, Soul Rooftop, Digging the Scene with the Gangster Wing? You don't, have to, you don't have to go through all that, you know? Just be who you are. Yep, just be who you are. So when you try and exercise, don't be trying to be someone else. Be who you are. You got a set, a set of hand grips here with a tubular resistance band on this side, on my right side, and a flat resistance band on my left side. How about this? This even feels good to do, you know? Doesn't hurt until you start doing it too long. Then it hurts. Well, it's a hurt, feel good hurt. You know what I mean? Because it feels like you're doing something. And you really are. You're doing a lot more than what you would be doing if you were doing nothing. You're helping yourself out tremendously. And you really know it. And trust me, I know how difficult it is to exercise if you've never exercised before, or how difficult it is to getting back to exercising once we've aged. It's even difficult doing it even if we haven't aged. But we need to do it. And I only want to tell you, if you start, you start off gradually, very, very, very slow. I don't care if you do one of something every day. Just do one of it every day until you're able to do two. And then when you're able to do two, do two of whatever it is every day until you're able to do three then four and five until you are able to expand to what you want to get to. Don't try and start doing 10, 15, 20, 25 of anything that you haven't done in a, in a lifetime, so to speak, in a lifetime. Start off slowly. Because that way, you won't discourage yourself because you won't injure yourself. It won't hurt. It'll just be uncomfortable. So start off slowly and work your way till you can get to a reasonable quantity because one is unreasonable. So you want to get yourself up to a reasonable quantity and if that's 10 or if it's 15, let it be. Okay?
I can only do what I do because I've done this a lot and I practice. When you, get, when you practice at something, you get pretty good at it and you're able to do it more or do it better. Usually that's the case. So I'm no better than you. I had to practice, I had to work to get or to be able to do 25. That's right. And my intent is only to do 25 most of the time, especially as I just do multiple sets. But there are times that I do more than 25. As you just saw, I did 50 sit-ups. That's only sometimes. I didn't, want, I didn't want my crunch to get jealous at my sit-up. So I did 50 crunches also. How about that? Now a little turn, once again, we're gonna do some press. We'll put our flat latch bar in place. And we'll set up to do some press. So we have to coordinate our workout with our eating habits in order to achieve our goals. Make sure we keep that in mind. We have to eat the right foods. We have to drink the right things, okay? There are times you're not able to eat the right foods. Don't eat as much. It's that simple. Don't drink sodas as much. Soda has a ton of sugar. All fruit drinks, fast food drinks, all of that stuff has a ton of sugar and a ton of salt. Be careful with all, all of that because each of those will make your blood pressure high. That's right. It'll send your blood pressure to the moon and back. So be careful about what you're putting in, in into the tank because you can be you you be poisoning yourself and not even realizing it. That's right. So just be careful. Alcohol consumption. I know a lot of us like it. Once again, that will contribute to your high blood pressure. So drink it in moderation if you drink it. Don't drink that stuff every day. Don't even drink a beer every day. Beer is worse than alcohol when it comes to your blood pressure, but neither one is, is good, trust me. I drank enough of it, I know.
What more can you ask for? Your own gym. This product turns your product, this product, my product, turns your resistance bands or your room into a gym. Into your home gym. How about that? You know, my apologies. I guess I've been rambling a little bit too much today. Because it looks like we're almost used up all of our time. Our time is up. And that's our daily workout for today. Thank you very much. And you have a great day. I'll see you again. Probably bright and early in the morning. Be prepared.